Perfect creation. Huh? Oh, hello. Yes. Um, oh, hey, lovelies. Is my is my camera working? It's not. No, working. no, no, no. You gotta hit the you gotta hit the three dots and then the camera button and then save. Hit save. Oh, save. Okay. I look a hot mess. Don't worry about all that. But how y'all doing? camera on, you know, because can y'all see me now? Yes, we see you now. Can. Okay. I just want to stick to the question up there. Wait, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Chrissy. I'm from New York. Nice. Okay. How long you been watching us, Chrissy? Um, I've I've seen y'all a couple times. I don't really watch y'all too much because it's a lot of controversy going on and stuff. So I'm not really into it like that. But I find it a little interesting. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm not here to judge y'all at all because I've seen a lot of judgment that came across um, y'all platform. So I'm not here to judge y'all. I'm not here to uh, talk shit. That's not what I'm here to do. Um, I just want to, I guess, stick to the question and talk about uh, polyamory. Are y'all polygamous or polyamorous? Polygamous. Okay. And um, I also wanted to know, I guess, because you, Sean, you wanted to bring a lot of a lot of more a lot more women into your dynamic, right? Uh, I wouldn't say a lot more, but yes, I will be adding. I heard you say I heard you say before you wanted seven wives, right? Yes. Okay, and that's fine. Um, I am. I, I think I would say I'm a free spirit. I, I like, I would, I would love to have seven wives myself. Okay. I think that would be great. I think it would be perfect. I'm very communal when it comes to things like that. But um, let me get this one question out the way. Is Olivia pregnant? Cause everybody want to know. So I just want to get that out the way. <laughs> everybody wanted to know that. Just do like a 360 phone. Of her. Well, you look nice. You look nice. Does it look like a? Does it look like a baby? No, I guess maybe <laughs> you was just maybe y'all just ate that day. You feel me? I just saw I just saw that come down my my timeline and everything. Yeah. But okay, so no, she's not she's not pregnant. Not to uh, not to my knowledge, anyways. No. Well, that's that's good. Not to my knowledge. Not next caller. <laughs> Somebody said next caller. No. Don't anyway. Make, the comments. They just be talking. Okay. Um. So, Sean, what is your business that you have? Success. Success coach and a business consultant. Okay. And Olivia. I run my own financial services and insurance agency. And Miss Shanice. I'm a medical professional in the military. Okay. So when it comes to you guys and y'all dynamic together, um, do y'all meditate together? Do you raise your vibrations together, you know, um, in order to obtain the success that you're looking for? I feel like... Go ahead, babe. I feel like we raise our vibration by creating at a high level and um, mm -hmm. just producing and helping people. I feel like that raises my vibration to the highest is when I'm contributing the most. Okay. I think that's a really good question. Uh, no, as far as us meditating together, no. Um, but I do think that that's some good ideas to kind of like raise our vibrations together. And it's definitely something I'm going to implement in like the future. But as far as like us and what we do, I mean, we're all pretty active. We're all pretty... We seek out knowledge, we study every day, we read every day. But as far as actually sitting down together, I don't think we do that enough. And that's on me. Okay. Well, I think I think that would be really, really good for y'all to do when it comes to raising your vibrations. Um, I know that a lot of people I just wanna I just wanna read the room a little bit when it comes to the comments. A lot of people come on here to expose y'all, to judge y'all, to talk shit about y'all and that's not my place to do. 
I've been a reader for a very long time and I could read you from top to bottom if I wanted to, but that's not what I'm here to do. I, I really don't appreciate when people have, like, if you feel, I'm gonna just say this, if you feel the need to expose somebody in a sense, y'all, y'all in the comments always give people a platform, even when you don't feel like it. Like, y'all be in the comments so bad, y'all always posting um, their lives. You're giving them clout regardless. You feel what I'm saying? If you really wanted to silence somebody, you could do that. But y'all dead ass always post about them. So either way, you giving them clout. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that they should or should not do that. But I'm just saying the power always lies in the people. And I don't think they understand that. That's just that's just my take on the comments. But other than that, that's all. I, I just wanted to get on here and pretty much say the same thing that I would I would definitely be in a poly relationship with my wife if I want if if it be allowed. But my wife, we we've been through this already. We've been there, done that, and it didn't work for us. Why not? Um, and maybe you can teach us some lessons. Why not? I think failure teaches you things success never could. It, it does. Um, I think. The failure was that I was talking to a person that was monogamous. You can't have a poly relationship with people that are monogamous or people that are jealous. And that was the downfall of our relationship because jealousy arised in it and the person was monogamous. I'm non-monogamous. I can be a free spirit. I can love two more than one person at the same time, you get what I'm saying? I can love multiple people, but um, my wife is not, she's not polyamorous, she's monogamous. And I had to respect that. As I've been married to her nine years. So either you're gonna go with the flow or you're gonna do what you wanna do. And I decided to respect her boundaries and just not, not continue to pursue other people, especially a person that wasn't polyamorous she was saying that she was but when it all boiled down to it she wasn't and that really was the fall of it all yeah no for sure and um if i if i might ask like why were you practicing poly like i know people practice poly for a lot of different reasons was it kind of like for you know pleasure based like were you guys like building like what was the main thing i, I wanted to build um i'm very communal i had we have three children and um, I wanted to have a whole bunch of kids. I just didn't want to have them myself. I wanted like to have, my wife had our last kid. I had my first, our first two, and I wanted us to have at least one more person so she can have another kid or multiple, whatever, you know. I wanted to have a big family. I never had it. Growing up, um, I was like the rejected kid growing up. I was the kid that I was very much alone and didn't have a family setting. Um, so I wanted to grow a family, have a family, have a big house, make a lot of money, and also go on big family vacations, doing a lot of big things for my children. I feel like my children deserve a lot of communal things. And the fact that we lacked family, we lacked having, um, people in position to be in my children's lives. And I wanted to create my own family. Since I didn't have it, I wanted to have my own, but it just didn't work out that way. So I'm just like grateful for what I have regardless. But that's really what I wanted to do. Sweet, any, any, any advice on that? Advice on what? Um, poly, being poly, tips to make it work? Um, just talk to people that are actually polyamorous or, or polygamous or whatever it is that you're practicing. Make sure that that is the practice that they're into. You know what I'm saying? And um, getting people to understand what your vision is. Whatever your vision is, make sure that they understand that vision and continue to work towards that. I think people that don't have the same vision don't they don't work because they don't have the same vision but you have to have the same vision in order for it to work love it love it well, but i'm not gonna waste no more y'all time if you, you have, have questions for me 
You got a business? Oh, yes, actually. Um, I'm a reader. I'm a tarot reader. And also, um, I do have, if y'all if, if y'all follow me, you what can click that? the link what in my is, bio. What does, that, what does that mean? You're a tarot reader. What does that mean? So I read, so I read your energy. I read tarot cards. Um, pretty much, I can tell you about yourself, past, present, future, what you have going on. Um, and I work with a lot of people. Um, I've been working for the past two years. I've been working as a tarot reader. A lot of people come to me and um, I enjoy uplifting people. I speak life into people. Those people that have been struggling with depression, I help them heal their their um, subconscious mind. I help people um, heal their subconscious mind and change their subconscious mind into believing in themselves mm -hmm. because people don't believe in themselves mm -hmm. because of the things that they've been through. So if you have a lot of childhood trauma and you don't believe in yourself, it's hard for you to get to a point where you actually do believe in yourself, where you can actually um, follow your dreams and not allow the negative thoughts to consume you because people allow negative thoughts to consume them and they feed off a of negative energy. Yep. So I it, help you. It, why is it so crazy that people are so susceptible, susceptible to negative negativity and negative energy? Why do you think that is? Because I, I agree with that. It's, it's what they consume all their life. This is something that you are um, you've been doing all your life. You watch TV. That's a portal. You've been watching all of these things, consuming all of these things all your life. So whatever you ingest, whether whatever you take in physically, emotionally, by your vision, by your hearing, whatever you're taking in, this is something that you are used to and you have to undo that. You have to unlearn everything that you've learned throughout your years because we're breaking generational curses. That's what we have to do. Talk to us, talk to us about that because I'm a big believer in, in what you're saying because I often feel like a lot of the times it be your own loved ones, your friends, your family. Sometimes it be the people closest to you that try to shit on your dreams. Oh, yeah. um, so kind of talk to give people some game out there for like maybe. Sorry about that. Maybe somebody's struggling to, you know, go after their dreams or live the, live the life that they want to live. Maybe they're they're getting a lot of negativity from like loved ones or whoever. Maybe maybe strangers. How? What's the best thing that somebody can do to kind of like deal with that? Because there's a lot of entrepreneurs, man, who want to do big stuff. There's there's people here in this watching this right now. And they got big goals and big dreams, man. If you got big goals and big dreams, drop a 10x 10x in the chat. All right. If you got big goals and big dreams, uh, can drop. Tell us the number one thing that they can do to overcome that negativity. You have to cut everybody that is treating you wrong off cut everybody mm -hmm. off that is negative that is draining you of your energy and asking you to save them help them get ahead and you haven't saved yourself it's time for you to put you first you have to put you in the forefront like you have to honor yourself love yourself first um and always keep you as a type prior a top priority if you don't keep yourself as a top priority and you're helping everyone else you're going to drown you're not going to save yourself so that's what's important is really putting yourself first at what at what, at what point do you like say that because i um is that for like a woman or is that for like a man because i feel like as a man you don't really get to put yourself first like as a man i feel like you don't get to put yourself first. I feel like a man is a is a man of service. I um most of the greatest men that I know they sacrifice a lot. They do everything they, they need the least. So with that being said, do you feel like that applies to everybody or do you feel like that applies to specifically women? I'm not saying I disagree with you, but to me it seems like, you know, I don't I don't really know if men can achieve their goals and dreams that way. Cause I just don't know a lot of people that can have massive success just being like selfish especially if you like trying to build a business so okay so my thing is not being selfish but showing up for yourself is very important showing up for yourself every day in an aspect where you are eating properly that you are making sure that you're you're exercising that you're working out that you're doing what you need to do to show up yeah, so even if you have because sometimes when people hear be selfish it could they they probably think like oh fuck what everybody else wants it's all about me and what i want it's and, not, it's and i don't think that's what you're saying yeah no it's not necessarily and be selfish keeping yourself as a priority is helping you show up for yourself and show up for others as well showing up for yourself
yeah. helps you show up for others. If you don't, if you don't honor yourself and you don't treat yourself with the care that you need, you're not going to be able to show up for other people. Mm, yeah, no, self-love is self-love is the best love. I, I agree with that self-investment is the highest form of self-love. And if you don't love yourself, you can't love other people. Yeah. That's for it. Sure. Okay. Love it. So, so, so like, how, how does somebody get in contact with you about your services? I have everything linked on my page. If you go to my page, you click the link in my bio. I have do, everything on there. You do like programs, you do like one-on-one -on -one sessions. Like how does that work? Yes, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. I do it in my lives. Um, I speak life into people on Sundays. Sometimes I, I, I put on my gospel, I sing, you know, um, I entertain people. I'm very funny. I love to entertain people. Um, but mostly my merch and everything is in my Etsy shop, but I do work with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis and I want people to know, I'm going to just say this too, because a lot of y'all are, you could be Christians or not or whatever, but I want y'all to know that God comes through in all forms, baby. Okay. God is going to show up in all forms. So whether you read tarot cards or you just you you're speaking, God is going to show. If God has a word for you, baby, God is going to give it to you, whether it's through cards or not. I need y'all to understand that because a lot of people are afraid. I don't know what you're afraid of, but I just awaken the light in you, and that's all. I allow God to do the work. That's it. Okay. Wait, awesome. Well, we appreciate you definitely being on here. You're the first person that hits the link. And books a call with her. Uh, I'll be paying for it. So book the call, screenshot it, send it to me. Um, and I'll, you know, make sure we take care of that. So with that being said, uh, tell them one more time when they can find your information. Just go to my page, click the link in my bio. Where is that at? It's, it's right. It's the, it's the link tree link right on my page. As soon okay. as you go to my page, it should be right up on there. Talk her Instagram. Oh, my Instagram is the same name as, as this one. So which link do they go to, TikTok or Instagram? Um, On TikTok. It's on perfect, TikTok. Perfect. Sweet. So with that being said, thank you so much for thank coming you. on. We appreciate no you. Later, y'all. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I got you. Okay. Okay, let's bring this to, this might be a reach, but a million likes. Why is that a reach? <laughs> I didn't say that. That's not a reach. It's not a reach. I'm reaching. Yes, That's a reach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's set this screen on one million likes. One million likes. One million likes. One million likes. Oh, I found our next person. Good. I want to ask her some tips. Hey, who is that girl that was on that show? Her and her girlfriend. Um, oh, yeah. I forget her name. What the hell? What do you remember her name? Damn. It was a girl and her girlfriend, and one of her girls, I think her girlfriend's on like a reality show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They hit us up, then we just get so many messages. It, like the girl with the girlfriend on the reality TV show that hit us up. Damn, I forgot her damn name. So sorry, our DMs get flooded. I know y'all know how that goes. Um, please reach back out to us because you know we would love to have you up here. It's a girl, and she has a girlfriend. I forget her girlfriend's and name. And yeah, no, no, no. It was they were on the TV show. Most likely, like in an Atlanta. Based reality show. Ah, damn, how did I forget that? Forget her name. You don't have the Instagram? Babe, man. Oh, wait. Hold on, let me look. Damn, it would be wild. Somebody put a 
people are asking why we're eating the grapes like this? Because they're frozen grapes and they're covered in sugar. So that's why they're cold. One million likes. Ready got the next guest lined up. Is it Yoshi? Mm. Oh. Judy who? Judy and Debrat? I don't even know. I would have to see him. Debrat is a no. Mm. Okay, we got to a million. Let's bring the next guest on. Uh, Carissa Moni Monise. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you turn your camera on? Yes. Wait. Oh, camera. Hi. Hi. Yo. Hey. Wait, I can't even see myself. Is it on? You gotta hit the camera. You gotta hit the, oh, three camera. the video Wait. and hit save. Save. You got oh, it. save. Camera. Good day. You got it. Everybody. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Carissa, and I am from Panama City, Florida, but I currently live in Mexico. Mexico. Where in Mexico? Tulum? Cancun? No, Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Nice. Did you Did you learn Spanish yet? I am still learning. I'm not totally fluent, but yeah, I'm learning. How long Keep them up, Chris. <laughs> huh? How long have you been in Mexico? Mexico Almost so two years. Oh, nice. Cool. Okay. Well, what's your question? Um, so someone's saying eat them up. I'm not here to eat anyone up, but I do have one question for Shanice. Um, I don't know if it was your first live by yourself or your second, but you mentioned how um, once you got out of the military that you wanted to get your credit together and you wanted to start your own business. Do you remember that? In regards to credit repair, I'm doing that right now. It's a lot of stuff on, on my credit, like school loans and stuff. It's just incorrect. So I'm getting somebody else to take care of that so I don't have to. Um, and yes, my goal is to gain business credit so I can invest in things that pay me passively so we are able to invest in other deals that pay us even more. Okay, so the second half to that question is I would like to know, um, Sean, since you know you do so well with helping people build their businesses, what is it that you're doing to help Shanice? Uh, with those steps in order to build a business for herself and to get her credit and stuff together. Well, she's already has a specialist helping her, helping her build her business credit, her business credit profile and like all of that. So all of that's already been like worked on. Okay. And you don't specialize in that yourself? No, no, no. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Good for you, Shanice. Do your thing. Okay. Next question is... I honestly want to know how is going live like every other night benefiting all of your mental health? Like, it seems like it would be really exhausting. This is me personally. It would be really exhausting to get on here and have people kind of just like eat you up, beat you down like every other night. So how is that you guys work a full time job or a full job during the day? Then you have to come and you have to entertain people and hear people kind of just like bash you and then go to sleep with all of that on your mind. Like, how does that, how is that helpful to you? Um, 
I'm gonna let the ladies go first on that. Okay, sure. Um, well, to be honest, I don't come on here and entertain anybody. I'm just me, and we're just us, and we happen to entertain people. <laughs> so for us, it's not like another job, or it's not like another thing that is like difficult because we're just coming on here answering questions that we already know, and we're just being ourselves. So it's not like anything. And I actually like talking to you guys. I like I find the whole situation funny with all the things going on. Um, and in terms of the hate, I, it doesn't really get to me. Um, when it does get to me, that's only because I have not been on top of my stuff. Um, because like when you're not like working on yourself, that's when I'm like, oh, maybe these comments are real. But when I am working on myself, I'm like, oh, what the heck are these comments? So me constantly working on myself and honestly, I'm not on social media 24 seven. So yeah it's just it's just it just goes into one ear and out the next okay um the lab doesn't doesn't bother me at all um in regards to the comments uh, it is there may be some people that do not understand which is why we're here to answer their questions and clarify and we do have some people that do support us um also yes your your self-worth comes from your self-work so like if i am self like if I have enough confidence and self assurance in myself, it's because I put in the work to do that. So there's nothing that anybody else can say to me to make me question that. Sean. Mm, this is a very good question. I feel like when people say bad stuff about you, I feel like people, when they, they say bad stuff about you, it will only affect you if you feel if you're not confident in yourself um i also feel like true strength comes from restraint i feel like um the adversity that we go through today gives us the strength to tackle tomorrow's problems so i know that i want to reach massive levels of success and i know that haters come with success and i feel like going through all this adversity and all these like haters and negativity just gives me the strength and the mental fortitude to handle bigger challenges that's honestly like the way that i actually look at it uh, and i know that i've developed as a person my communication skills develop my ability to kind of like handle people uh, i think adversity is one of the best ways to like improve as a person so when these people come with all this negativity and all this doubt and all this hate honestly it just doesn't do anything but motivate me to be mm -hmm. like a better person to be completely honest with you and i feel like overcoming this so-called adversity is just preparing me and giving me the strength to handle tomorrow's battles because we plan on being massively successful like i said i i plan on building the most powerful beautiful influential family in america and i know i'm gonna get like a lot of haters and it comes with the territory i understand that it comes with the territory but i think there's a difference between like it coming with the territory versus like you like putting yourself in the in the fire like you're just it's almost like going onto the stage knowing that everybody out there has tomatoes and they're just gonna just throw it at you versus not, not everybody has tomatoes we get tons of positive messages every yeah. single day Absolutely. and to be honest with you just to kind of tell you a little bit about me i've been in six motorcycle accidents i've been robbed at gunpoint i've been homeless four times i've been set up i've been betrayed i've been threatened i've been at all type of stuff i've been through so much that like people saying negative stuff about me is like the least of my worries, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. Like I've overcome a lot of real adversity, like real life or death situations. Like this stuff, it's really not that big a deal. Yeah. Oh, well. yeah. I'm glad you guys feel that way and don't feel too like attacked by it. Um, Another question I had is, is you talk a lot about your business um, Olivia, you do as well. Is there any time on here where we'll get someone that you guys have helped in the past that can kind of give like a testimonial and tell us what, how you've helped grow their business or how you've helped start their business? Because I think, I mean, you guys get a lot of slack and backlash about, you know, you being fraud and so on. So will there ever be a person that can come on here and be like, hey, because I've yet to see like a TikTok video where someone's like, yeah. hey, yeah, Sean's legit. He's helped me build my business from 
Y to Z or you know whatever. You guys, you guys, this is a good question. Olivia, you want to go first? Oh no, I was just gonna say you have testimonials in your Instagram. Comments. Yeah, you guys will see a billionaire on this show. That I promise. You guys will see a billionaire on, on this show. Um, and I think that will be like a turning point um, for most people. As far as my testimonials, you guys go to my Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. So with the blue check, I got about 170,000 followers. Um, I only got one account. All you gotta do is go look at my highlights. Go look at my highlights lifestyle and go look at my highlights testimonials and you'll see hundreds of testimonials. People are tagged, people are winning. You can reach out, you can message them and like, did I, I, people just don't want to believe it. Like at this point, they're just kind of telling themselves a story that like they've convinced themselves that we're a fraud. Even though we've never asked anybody for a single dime, we, we've, we've helped single moms, we've helped college kids, we've, we've done nothing but try to like help people. And obviously we've trolled a couple people, but um, they just don't want to see it, to be completely honest with you. Like if you guys go and look at my Instagram and be like, look at the two highlights, lifestyle, look at the uh, highlight testimonial. If you walk away from that thinking that I'm not legit, you never have to listen to us again. But remind you guys, we've never sold you guys anything. The only thing we've done is try to give you guys free information and legit strategy that you guys can use to like improve your family's life. Like that's it. I don't know why people get so mad. Got it. So from as many lives as you've done, and you say that you guys want to get free game how many like what is the percentage of people that you think are actually taking something away from this because you guys are doing this pretty regularly for a few hours a night so do you feel like this is actually benefiting people do you feel like it's actually helping people or are you getting one thousand percent and the truth is if i had to go through all this to change, to change one person's life mm. to me that's like worth it like if i gotta go through a million haters to change one person's life to me that's like worth it like, because when I was sleeping in my car, I wish somebody came to me and was just like, bro, mm -hmm. this is how you do it, man. You fucking up, bro. You messing up in life. Let me show you the way. At least this will get you pointed in the right direction. Right. So I wish I had that. And I think a lot of us, you know, growing up, if we did have that, our lives would be different. You know, it's very unfortunate. Today I woke up, I looked at my bank account, a five figure deposit. And it's very sad. Yesterday, the same thing. And tomorrow is going to be the same thing. Uh, it's very unfortunate that people feel like they cannot make 10000 in a month. It's very easy to do. And as a matter of fact, if you live on the coast, 10000 a month isn't even enough to survive. It's not all about the money, but you can't, you can't do the most important things in life if you're worried about money, right? So... There's tons of people that we've helped. Again, go to my testimonials. There's business owners that have come on this platform that have sold out. Even some of our haters have sold out. <laughs> like, even the people that clip us up, they've been monetized on YouTube. People are selling merch. Like, we, we've helped a lot of people. I think that people just want to see that it's attainable for them. Like, they don't want to go in, in your highlights and see, like, a bunch of millionaires or billionaires or people that look like they already have money. Like, I want to see people that look like me, people that don't come for money or don't already have money. Like somebody that's starting from, you know, getting it out the mud. Like, we want to see those type of people, not the people. I did get it out the mud and look at what you guys are doing. Dude, listen, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. I come from the lowest of the low. Yeah. My mom was a prostitute and addicted to drugs, lover to death. I was a baby of the family. I bounced around in foster care, got lucky enough to get adopted, helped me change my life around, joined the military, failed at the military, failed at relationships, failed at And I am sitting here right now with two beautiful win women, winning, winning. I've made over 35K this week alone, and the week is not over. By the time this week is done, it'll probably be at about 70. This week, not this month, not this year, this week. And I sit up here and try to give you guys information. And the thing is, people will bash. And I get it. It comes with the territory. But guys, I've never tried to sell you guys literally anything. I just try to give you guys strategy. So people just choose to not see it. It's on them. Like, I can't. I can't. Unfortunately, we live in a world where negativity spreads more than positivity. Like, we give you guys legitimate bars every single day to help you guys improve your life but people just they don't want to see it you know okay. all right well this is a little off topic 
Sean, why the hell you haven't let those ladies decorate that house? Because it looks like a full-blown bachelor's pad. You think this is... Wait, I can't hear you. Somebody keeps sending whales. Thank you for the whales or whatever. <laughs> I feel like it's a bachelor's pad. Like, you can tell a man lives there and they just moved in. It doesn't look comfortable at all. Like, look at those two love seats over there sitting towards the window to see the game. Sometimes we just want a big ad or sorry, a big behind comforter set where we can come and just flop down on and it just doesn't look comfortable. I got something big that they can come and flop down on. Period. We don't want that all the time. That's a lot. We need a couch to just be comfortable. And y'all keep saying it's an Airbnb. That is not an Airbnb. I'm a traveler. I stay in a lot of Airbnbs. And no shit, your house, your place is dope. It's beautiful. But I've never seen an Airbnb that isn't fully furnished like that. I mean, yours is furnished, but it looks like a bachelor's pad. It looks like a single man lives there. There's not a woman's touch at all. I got two women touching me right now. <laughs> no, but ladies, this is for the ladies, not for you, Sean. Olivia and Shanice, if he gave you guys the green light to like help decorate, would you guys switch it up? Be be honest. Be honest. Shanice, I know you would because you're a little older. So you look like you're an earthy girl. You like comfort. You want a big couch to come and flop on. You probably want some plants or something. I'm just saying something comfortable, Sean, but coming home from work where, where and gonna, sitting where in gonna, a where you, gonna put a where are you going to put a couch here? Look, where, you would have a lot of space. Where it doesn't look stupid. It will not look stupid. Dude, listen, there is no space in here. Like, let us look at that. Yeah, let us see. Where the hell are you going to put a couch? What are you talking about? Right there against the windows. You can have a section. Against room. the windows? Are you out your mind? Home in the middle of the living room. Bachelor All right, so I'm supposed, to put a, I'm supposed to put a couch right here. So let me get this straight. You think having a couch is better than sitting in a massage chair with that view? Yes. Turn it You're around. Wild. Turn it around. Get all that stuff off the wall. You're wild. All of that stuff off the wall. That's why you have to let a woman do it because you don't know what you're doing, Sean. I know exactly you what I'm doing. You got a stripper pole. The more you fuck around, pole. the more you find out. You better stop playing with me. You got it. I ain't trying to find out. You got a stripper pole in the middle of your apartment. You just need, and there's no shame. Like your place is dope. That was, a, that was a that was a woman's touch. That wasn't my that wasn't my goal. Oh lord, that's funny when people see. Shanice. I ain't gonna say who it was, but uh, it wasn't me. Listen, my thing is allow the ladies. If you want to have seven queens, allow them to have a little input in where they're living at, where they stay at, because it really looks like they just moved in with you and haven't changed a thing. And look how you acting. What we gonna put a couch at? That is what that is what happened. And and right now we're in like a building phase. So when this thing's all said and done, we'll probably have a couple spots here. Well, if you see this next place we're going, to, yeah. if you if you knew where we was going next, you wouldn't believe it. But um, I th I'm pretty sure that will come. But that, you know, this is a small place. When you got to think, when I moved in, it was just me. You got to get a bigger place to accommodate all three of y'all. That's a small place. Get a bigger place. That's get a bigger we unit. We will. So big. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. This this apartment is not small. But I moved in. It was just me. It's a two bedroom. It's open concept, obviously, but my next pad, y'all see. I, ain't, I don't even want to speak on it too much, man. Y'all just, y'all just, y'all just, just don't have to see the rules. Ladies, let them have a little bit more input in their comfort, especially if you're going to be the man going out and getting the bacon. They have to be there all day, whether they're working from home, taking care of the kids, or whatever. So let them decorate to their comfort. I, and I, I just don't think a couch would look good here or a TV. Yeah. I love TV, it would be a really nice space. Hell no. <laughs> a TV? Oh man, let me put my feet in the Real toxic around here. You saying, where is that? Like, uh, is a criminal offense? TV show? <laughs> I get it. I don't watch Yo, TV. You say TV one more time, whatever. I'm going to have to play the music. We don't, we don't mention that word around here. 
Decorate to your comfort is what I'm saying. But I mean, I didn't have too many questions. I just wanted to know the thing about Shanice because I remember watching that and I just want to- You, you got a business? I do not have a business. Why not? But I can be that testimonial. Listen, I can, I can slide in your DMs and we can get something started, but I do not have a business, but I do specialize in like travel content. Um, anyone who's looking to relocate to Mexico, I'm a single black woman living in Mexico alone. So if you're looking for advice on that, any travel related content, How do you avoid the cartel. Uh, what do you do to avoid the gangs? No, that's different. It's not different. It's very different. It, it really isn't. I was in Mexico one what time. Do you do to avoid I was in the, Mexico one time, doing? and the, and the cartel was lighting cars on fire. Cartels is everyday people. They're not if you're if you're not messing with them, they're not bothering you. Like that's like saying like, what are you doing to avoid mass shootings? Don't let the media like hype it up. Mexico is peace. Like people are in their houses. It's peaceful. What, what part of Mexico Every, do you live in? I live in. I'm in San Diego. I'm right there. I'm in Guadalajara, Jalisco, oh. next to Mexico City. Mm. But there is more shit that happened in the United States on an everyday basis that happens in Mexico. Probably why, like, we, why we think that way, because TJ's right there. Oh, Tijuana, yeah. Yeah, TJ's a little different. <laughs> Even then, like it isn't, the media just wants y'all to think that the United States is the safest place to come and everywhere else is extremely dangerous. And it's not the truth. Like I'm a traveler, like I've been to six continents, over 30 countries. And believe it or not, when you go to Europe and all these other countries, the United States is the laughing stock of the world. Oh shit, I believe that. <laughs> the laughing stocks. They think we are complete idiots. We are. Like, I, do, you not it, see some of the, do you not see some of the content and questions people get up here and ask? I, I already know because that's, they really do feel that way. I mean, so somebody asked me if my why I'm lying about my name and that my real name is Jason. <laughs> like, I, like I always say, America is not that girl. She really isn't the girl that everyone thinks she is. So y'all get out there, travel. Sean, I know you said you're not concerned about traveling. You don't have a passport. That's all baloney. You can work from anywhere in the world. Take these damn girls out the country. Y'all can work from Cabo. You can work from anywhere. And it, it doesn't have to be extremely expensive. It's all about experiences. And I know that you want to build a life for them and for their family, but you don't, what if something happens to you tomorrow? Like you don't, you don't, you don't need a passport to go to, to Mexico. You can just get the land and border pass. That's like 50 bucks. What people don't realize the land and border pass is like 50 bucks to get you into Canada, get you into Mexico. And then you can just go straight to the Mexican airport and like kind of fly like anywhere. So you don't necessarily need, uh, need a passport to do that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I agree with you. I'm not trying to discredit you, but I'm saying there are other ways to travel anywhere in the world take these yeah. girls like that's fine y'all work hard i see it i'm sure y'all work hard take these damn girls on vacation y'all can work hard from anywhere in the world i agree with you do you understand a concept called delayed gratification have you ever heard of that um no tell me about it what do you think it is boot your mama go ahead what i think of what um no, I think she was, they was talking to she talked to the comments. Um, what delayed gratification? What do you think it is? Delayed gratification. Um, finding like um, I don't know. Finding happiness. I feel like when you have delayed gratification, like you still have appreciation for something, but. It just hasn't happened yet. So delayed gratification is like basically putting off something for mm -hmm. a, greater, a greater reward. So with the money that we make right now, we can do a lot of stuff. Like if I wanted to go to a new country every single month, every single week, we could pretty easily do that. Yeah, um, sure. Travel is not very expensive, but for us, we're not trying to become rich what people would consider rich like I, I personally me personally just my two cent i will consider myself broke until i'm making at least a million dollars a month 
that's when I feel like money. That's when I feel like that's when I feel like money starts to get real. For us, I personally don't want to buy a lot of stuff or nice things or do nice things out of earned income. I want to do that out of passive income. Getting rich, what people would describe as very, it's, it's kind of easy to be honest with you, but getting wealthy is a whole different game. And for me, I'd rather have the assets, I'd rather have, you know, a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars a month coming in passively and spend that money and fuck that money off rather than like fucking off money that like we worked really hard for. Does that make sense? So the game we're playing right now is get a bunch of money, invest it somewhere. So who says the money has to stop? The same thing you're doing right there in San Diego, you can say, hey, girls, let's just do a, a difference in scenery. Let's just do a different environment and let's just go over to Paris and we'll stay there for a week and we'll put in whatever hours of work. But my thing is like, I understand wanting to build that wealth for yourself, but what about wealth and experiences? Well, listen, man, I, I, at the end of the day, when Jeff Bezos was busting his ass in his garage, I'm pretty sure he's enjoying his life now, you know? And Elon Musk, same thing. So I, I, I feel like if that's your goal, that's your goal. But the last thing I would want to do is take us to Paris and then be working all day. Like when we go to Paris, I want to like live it up. Like when that's when it's our time to do that, like we're going to live it up. Like I, t I tell my queens, I'm going to give them a life greater than anything they could ever imagine. Um, because, you know, gratitude is action, it's not words. And I know that I'm a very, hardworking person. I know that I'm super, super focused on like production. Um, and I know that it may not be like the most, you know, it, it may not be like the, everybody has to sacrifice. I, I'll, I'll put it like that. But uh, once we get to that point, once it's our turn to pop out, that's going to be that. I mean, we got a lot of stuff we want to do. Shows, stages, speaking stages, podcasts, like there, there is a lot of stuff that we got to do. A lot of people we got to like help. So I don't disagree with what you're saying, but like our time will definitely like come. And for me, we're not playing the game of getting rich. We're playing the game of getting wealthy. It's cool to live by the Padres. It's cooler to own the Padres. It's cool to go to a sit courtside at the Lakers game. It's better to own the team. We want to own the team. And the people that just want to go sit courtside, that's cool. That's the game you want to play for us. We want to own the team, all right? We look across the street, we see the Hilton Hotel. I want that to be Adam's Hotel, right? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, that's just the game that we're playing and ultimately sacrifice is the only form of payment in the history of the world, you know? Okay, well, I just want to say, don't miss out on the things that's actually happening around you trying to build that. There's no doubt that you will build that, but also, Tomorrow is in promise. Take every day, be grateful for every day. Take every experience the best that you can. Do everything, do as much as you can because you, you're here one day, gone tomorrow. So I'm gonna get off of here because they are over me. But I will say, y'all, follow me on YouTube. TikTok is cool, Instagram is cool, but if you want to support me or follow me on anything, I will definitely take the followers on YouTube, 400 more followers, and I get monetized on there. So my name is Carissa Moni. Blow, blow, blow her up, 400, blow her up. Yo, uh, with that being said, uh, give, 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 give us three travel tips right now. Um... Don't be afraid to go somewhere. Don't listen to the media. Do your own research. Book that shit. Plan the rest later. Just go. Just go. Um, two, don't be afraid to meet people. Socialize whenever. I know always be cognizant of your surroundings and the people that you come and touch with. Thank you for the subscriber. But talk to people. Meet people experiences are worth more than anything else i feel like uh number three is it does not cost a lot of money yes thank you olivia yes, it does not wait, me... cost a lot of money to travel it is attainable for anyone it doesn't cost a lot of money okay so if you want to travel you want to know what it takes you want travel deals follow me on instagram YouTube, TikTok, I'm always posting travel deals. Carissa Moniz, I'm the same on all three platforms. C-A-R-I-S-S-A-M-O-N-Y-C-E. 
subscribe to my YouTube and I'll show you. And you guys can always DM, ask me anything. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. You're right, welcome. So with that being said, we appreciate you. Yo, what's your favorite travel card? The platinum? Definitely. Period. Definitely. Period. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, the are unmatched. <laughs> so yeah, definitely get a travel card as well. So, all right, guys, have a great night. Positive right. energy. Sean, take them girls on the trip. And <laughs> I'll holla at you guys. I'll be watching. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. All right, real quick. Listen, you guys, we love to help you guys. We love to impact you guys. Please, please, please go follow her. Let's get her YouTube mm -hmm. monetized. There's 30,000 30, people here, man. Only 1% of you guys need to go and support her, man. I know there's some good people out there, and I know so, y'all yeah, love to travel, so go follow her real quick. And while y'all doing that, we literally, she asked about people that we help. Guys, we really want to help you guys, man. If you guys are watching this, and maybe you want to come up with some money for traveling. Maybe you just want to come up with some extra money and replace your job. If you guys are watching this, you got a 700 plus credit score, and you're looking to make an extra ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore Tiana Scott. DM me free game, and I want to teach you for free how to make an extra ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. It's free information. This will be the most valuable live that you guys ever watch, man. If you weren't making ten to fifteen k a month, it wasn't your fault. But afterwards. If you don't take advantage of the information, that is your fault. Right. I'll send you a message. You'll get a little video. Uh, take a look at it. It's like four minutes. Take some notes. Feel free to ask any questions, man. Literally, we want to help you guys. Why are we doing this? Guys, we're trying to get wealthy, man. That's the thing. But see, true wealth isn't about money. It's about impact on people. And we want to positively impact you guys. So again, if you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adam, just the one with the, the blue check. I only got one account. I say that because it'd be a, you know, people trying to make fake accounts. That's how y'all should know I'm legit. It's people that make fake accounts to me. All right. So with that being said, if you're watching me, like, how do I know if this guy's real, man? There's a lot of bullshit on the internet. Um, just check out my highlights, lifestyle, check out my highlights, testimonials. There's so much stuff in there that you literally just cannot fake. Go check me out. I promise you I'm the real deal. If you go to my Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore items, check out my two highlights, my lifestyle and testimonials, and you'd be like, this guy's not legit. Hey, you never have to listen to me again. Um, but just remember, nothing to sell you because it's just free information. So with that being said, uh, again, 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore items. You guys may be like, why should I listen to you? Uh, today it's the second day in a row. Woke up to five figures. Put in the bank account tomorrow is going to be another day five figures um probably going to do about you know 70k this week so with that being said if i can do 70k in a week you guys can do 10 to 15k in a month because i promise you you're a lot smarter you guys are a lot funnier you guys are a lot better looking than i am there's nothing special about me besides the classes that i took as a kid uh so with oh that with God. that with that being said with that being said make sure you guys listen 700 plus credit score dm me on instagram sean underscore channel guys forget it's not all about the money but you guys need money to take care of your family man we want to help you guys yeah. take care of your family we want you guys to be in like the testimonials man mm -hmm. even if it's just you know you went and applied the information and six months later you're like yo man i just quit my job That's, those are the messages we love to get so with that being said to um tomorrow we'll be doing it Giveaway. giveaway. Very excited Favorite about this giveaway. giveaway. For my guys, you don't want to make ten to fifteen thousand a month. You want to learn to make ten to fifteen thousand a week. DM me if you got a seven hundred plus credit score. DM me on Instagram, mentor, and I'll personally reach out to you and see if my mentorship is a great fit for you. For my kings, man, mm -hmm. we need strong kings in the world. This is for my kings. You got a seven hundred plus credit score. You're watching this. You want to learn to make an extra ten to fifteen thousand a month a week. DM me on Instagram, uh, mentor. All right. So with that being said, uh, business owners, if you want to come up here, shout out your stuff, please do so. Um, what are we doing? Let's bring it to 1.5 million likes. Double tap that screen, y'all. Double tap, double tap. 1.5. Hmm. Okay, 1.5 million likes, like it up, and I will bring on the next guest. But in the meantime, I will look who is next. Who is next in line?
had her already on the live. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we have somebody up next in line. We got 100K more, and we'll be at 1.5. So like the screen, like the screen. Double tap on the screen. Yes, yes, yes. 1.5 million likes. Let's do it, guys. Thank we you. We got it. 5. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're bringing tech sands up. Hello. Hi. 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 Can you Hi. guys tell me how to turn my camera on? There we yeah. go. All right, hit save. Hi, guys. How are you? Good, how are you? She I'm good, let me turn you up. She says she loves your voice and I love your voice too. You love my voice? Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it, thank you guys. And the hair and the skin? Oh, oh stop, yeah. thank oh. you. <laughs> thank you. I'm Kendall, y'all, I'm from Houston. H-Town. <laughs> yeah, H-Town, yes, exactly. Um, I'll keep it short and sweet for y'all. just have a couple questions. I got a question for you before you get started. I yeah. heard H-Town was vo voted the dirtiest city in America. Is that true? The dirtiest? Yep. Well, how would I know if that's true? You live there. Yeah, I don't know if it's the, what do you mean by dirty? Dirty, like is it a Oh, dirty? like dirty south? No, 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 like it's dirty, like it's dirty. They said it's like just like dirty, like a lot dirty. of, the streets are, the street, people throw trash in the streets, it's just like no, a lot No, of, no, 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 you may be talking about downtown, but I feel like everyone's downtown is kind of oh, rugged. San Diego, San Diego's downtown is clean. It is. No, I wouldn't say that. Anybody in the comments from Houston, I, you can't, mm -mm. you're not going to do Houston. I don't, I don't think so. And right. I'm not in my right. experience. Have you ever been to Houston? Yeah, I've been to Houston. It's a lot of traffic. I wasn't expecting so much traffic. The girls are really thick, but everybody is like, you know, gangster and people walk around with pistols. It's, it was an interesting place. You're joking. Are you joking? That's crazy. No. It's a lot of traffic. It's a lot of women that are thick, beautiful. It's overcrowded. It takes a long time to get places. Uh, a lot of successful black people there, but I also saw a lot of people walking around with pistols. Sure. <laughs> Maybe you're in another part of Houston he never been to. Is that wrong? Did I describe Houston as wrong? Like what part of what I said was wrong? <laughs> you said it's gangster and there's a lot of people walking around with pistols? Did I say it was gangster? I don't think he said gangster. No, I didn't say gangster. No, no. All right now. No, no, not not my Houston. Not in my experience. I don't think anybody I mean, you know, the city's always gonna be the city. But um no, no, not not in my experience. Okay. That should spend some time. Um, so I'll jump right into it because I know it's been a night for y'all. So, well, my first question actually is for you, Sean. Um, I don't know if you answered this before, but why did you choose this kind, this this style of relationship? Um, I got tired of failing and being a, a terrible leader to great women. Okay, so if you if you had, I guess, enough money to last you for the rest of your life, like a billion dollars, do you think you would still be in this kind of relationship? What? If you had, let's just say you had $10 billion cash, liquid, do you think you would still be in this kind of relationship or do you think that you would just choose one woman? Um, definitely will still be in this type of relationship. Uh, and to be honest, I feel like I have something worth way more than $10 billion. Um, one, I feel like family is worth more than any amount of money. And two, I, I feel like I have ability. Like I, I personally think that one day in the future, $10 billion will be absolute chump change to me. As a matter of fact, I know it will. Okay. All right. 
Well, my next question is for you, Shanice. Um, okay, so I just wanted to ask, I know a lot of people say that you kind of come off as distant emotionally or unavailable um, or bored even. Would you say that, that sometimes you feel that way? No, um, I'm just waiting. If if someone needs to ask me a question, then they'll direct a question towards me. And if not, then I'm, I'm kind of just chilling. Got it. Okay. Um, my next question, I'll wait for you guys to finish that. Oh. My next question is also for you, Shanice. Um, given that that's how people feel, and that's just the way that the majority, I guess, of the commenters, um, that's just the, the vibe that you're giving off. Do you feel at all that it's disrespectful to your love to appear to everyone else as if you're just turned off and fed up and disgusted by any interaction with him. Makes sense. Um, I understand where you're coming from. I care more about what he thinks of me rather than what other people think of me. Does that make sense? Absolutely. But if you if you were to have to think about that, would you say that 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 kind of comes off disrespectful if because if you're showing everybody else like it's almost like you you give him something and then you kind of show to everyone else like, oh, I can't stay in this. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you think that that comes off disrespectfully? Because I feel like if you were in a business meeting, you would kind of save face a little bit more. But it seems like to him, you save face and to us, you really kind of given us what you really feel. You don't find that that is also disrespectful in a way? I don't feel as though I come off that way. But if I do, then that's my fault. Okay. Well, I'm just asking. I just want to know. Um, I wanted to ask both of you ladies, if you guys do end up having to work through your pregnancies and work after giving birth. Um, stop the cap, bro, stop. If stop. you did. Oh, you know, not if, come on, bro. Like, what if a dragon came and fucking it blew my penthouse up? Stop. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 Just stop. Like, bro, there's, there's no way I'm about to, like, you know, have any queen of mine, any woman that's pregnant with my baby out there working on her feet. That's crazy. If she wants to run a business, she can. But she's not going to have to work. That's, that's, I'm, no. Okay. Well, I'm, if you want to ask the hypothetical. 25 hours a day, eight days a week. I would never allow that. I wouldn't even be able to look myself in the mirror as a, <laughs> as a man if I had to send my queen to, to some job. Okay. I wouldn't be able to look myself in the eyes as a man. Okay, then I'll go on to my next question then. So no hypothetical. You should go on to the next book. Like, just rip this. <laughs> just throw that book out and light it on fire. Like, don't do like, Get a whole new book. All right, so let's not turn the page. Let's turn the book. Okay. Right. Okay, I'll go, to my, I'll go to my next book, my next chapter. So the next one's for Olivia. Um, where does the relationship with your father stand right now? We're good. You're good. Okay. Um, and then if, if for any reason, Sean were to walk away, do you think that you and your father's relationship would be even better? No. Okay. All right. My last question um, is for, I guess it's for Shanice. Um, I'll wait for the whale. My last question is for Shanice. It does kind of appear that Olivia is adopting Sean's mannerisms, which can sometimes be an indicator that she's just not firm enough in herself as a young woman. She's still growing. She's still being molded, I guess. Do you feel that in your personal womanly opinion, if you had to give your opinion, do you feel that she is mature enough to handle this complex of a relationship? that Olivia is very mature and um, for her to make this type of decision then yes um, that's just about it and I got something I want to add to that I'm gonna let you go ahead but I want I got something I want to add to that what was you about to say no go ahead I, I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all before I dated them I, I used to date older women and I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys older women are even more open to polygamy or knowing that when they're dealing with a certain level of guy he's going to like do his thing and i'm not saying that it's right but you guys are like oh you're talking to girls that's young and naive and they're they're like tricked. like i've dealt with older women and older women literally this is how they treat relationships listen man i know you're gonna like do your thing you're gonna do this 
they'll sit up here and tell you, don't bring me no baby, don't have no babies on me, don't bring me any diseases, and don't have me in like the blogs. You guys gotta understand, and I'm not trying to give out game, but like, it's just like, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to like kiss and tell, but it's like, bro, like I, I've dealt with older women, I've dealt with doctors, I've dealt with lawyers, I've dealt with engineers, I've dealt with models, I've dealt with a lot of like, you know, women. And I, I'm telling you, like the older ones are like, like, it's not something that you gotta like, like that, that, that like, oh, somebody is so young that the, only a young person will fall for that. No, like older women are more even open to like that. And they understand like a man is going to be like a man, especially when they're dealing with a certain caliber of That's man. Perfect. That's just like my experience and what I tend to like notice. I don't think it's a situation where they feel like, oh, she's falling for your game. I don't think she's falling for your game. I don't think she's falling for that, but it does come across. If you are are this easily influenced by the person that you're with to the point where you are mimicking their unconscious mannerisms, that can come across like a red flag. You know what I'm saying? Because Shanice don't do that. Shanice is very firm in who she is. She's not copying you or her or him or, you know what I'm saying? So that that's why I was asking. You can't have it both ways. Cause like, here's the thing earlier, you, you suggest maybe you felt that she's disrespectful with her behavior now you're saying she's standing firm in her way so so which one do you do you want to like which way do you want to like have it right i asked what shanice believed because it can appear you know if i'm it, it's almost like and that question was uh, i'm married so it's almost like like if my husband is pissing me off and i'm not telling him to his face that he's pissing me off but i'm showing you that i'm annoyed by what he's telling me in my ear I was asking if she felt that a that she's doing that and if she felt that that comes across as disrespectful to show the public that she's not into you but to you that she's into you that was my question was if she felt or if she's even aware that she's doing that and if she is aware how does she feel about it i'm not really insinuating it's disrespectful i really wanted to know what she thought hmm. okay um and when you were talking about like how I copy his mannerisms, that's honestly just, I feel like if the mannerism is, he actually brought up more of who I actually am. I grew up like in an environment where they're like, don't be too loud, don't be too proud. You don't need to be a center of attention, you know, and don't just, just don't be the center of attention. So he actually brought out more of that within me because it was always within me. I was just kind of sh shy to let it out because I was always like kind of in a suppressive environment that wouldn't allow that to flourish. So when I came and I saw him being him and him being loud and proud and, you know, just like talking to people and being expressive, I was like, oh, it's OK. Mm -hmm. People are allowed to like act this way right yeah and I, that's when i just like literally started unleashing that because you can like literally ask him the last time that i came here the first time i came to san diego i did not act like this i was not like you know um <laughs> but the second time i actually have spent time with him i see the way that you know he expresses himself how he interacts with people um how much that actually attracts because he's being authentic um and i was like i want to adopt that because that's how i am and um so that's what i have to say to that okay no and that and that is good i mean he is there in a way to mold you and you do kind of want to heed to your man and kind of take the best of him but i don't think that's the only thing that you do i mean you do some things that maybe everyone doesn't notice but i have noticed when you explain things you go up in your tone and it's kind of a question and that kind of insinuates that you're not sure and I think you're still learning and you're still growing and it's great, but um, I think you are going to blow. I know he knows you're going to blow. Shanisha knows you're going to blow. You're going to skyrocket. And I just hope that what you take from this is to not drink your own Kool-Aid, never believe your own hype, because you are molding into a superstar right in front of everyone's eyes. And I think, what'd you say? I said, I'm glad you know it. I think everyone knows it. I think everyone knows it. You know, she's Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna she's gonna make it happen. But these steps that you're taking are pivotal and you are growing in front of the world. So I just want you to know that just be aware and you know, give yourself grace, but but don't drink your own Kool-Aid now. I, I, see, that's where I disagree with you. I don't want any woman around me being humble. I want my women to, to talk their shit. I want them to walk that walk and I want them to walk with their head 
held high at all times, but also back it up with action. Also back it up with your character. Also back it up with your impact on people, right? Because we're all about reaching our potential and not to shit on anybody, but to positively impact people because we're going to impact positive people, millions of people all over the world. We're going to help single moms every single month. We're going to be helping college kids. We're going to be helping people start businesses. We're going to be helping people. And there's no need to be humble when you're around me. Be yourself. Talk your shit. Work hard in the gym. When you see a mirror, double take. I want you to feel good. I want you to know that you look good because we work for it. Everything is earned. Nothing is given. Everything is built. Nothing is bought. We do this shit and we ain't gonna humble ourselves for nobody. Kind of because she's still a young woman though. And it's exactly that. It's no kind of. She's not gonna humble herself at all. She doesn't need to humble herself. Shanice doesn't need to humble herself. If anything, they need to think more of themselves because they are dope individuals and they put in the work every day. Are they perfect? No, but they show up with a positive attitude and with uh, the one intention, which is to positively impact people around the world. They should feel great about that. You got a great message. You should like say to the world exactly who you are. Like, yeah, it, it, that sounds great. And I believe that, but I don't think that's what I'm saying. It's different to internalize your hype. When you internalize your hype, you, you lose a lot of that honey, not vinegar. You get so much more with honey. And as a woman in the boardroom, our strength is our softness. It's our femininity. It's our delicacy, how we're able to approach certain things. And sometimes when you drink your Kool-Aid and you believe your hype, you walk in and people pick up on that and it can be intimidating. And sometimes you have to be smart enough to know that that you have to like duck and weave to get yourself in the right position. And as she's growing, arrogance can can come off really distasteful. And so that's I think that's just what I'm saying. You know? I, just, I agree with a lot of the things that you're saying. You make some really good points. I got to say, I'm very impressed by like, you know, the amount of self-development, the wisdom. I can feel just the frequency of the words that you're saying. Right. So I can tell that you do a lot of like the advanced internal engineering, the being and becoming like being the person that's like worthy of success. I think our philosophy is more of like being like a magnet, right? We're, we want to be authentically us and we're not going to shrink ourselves down for anybody. Like I'm never going to tell my queens to shrink themselves down for anybody. Not me, not any. if If our confidence rubs some people's insecurity the wrong way, that is not our problem. We're not here to shit on anybody. We don't belittle anybody, not purposely. That's never our intention, but I'm never going to tell them to shrink themselves. If somebody's intimidated by your presence, that's on them. Honestly, that's what I'm I agree. Mean. You just have to maintain your delicacy because you are a man. It's very, very different. Their walk is going to be very different than yours. So maintain your delicacy. And that's why I said, don't believe your own hype. You can believe your own hype. You need that fierceness to seal the deal. They don't. They've got the beauty. They've got the shape. They've got the elegance. That's all you need. That's their strength. So as she grows, as both of you grow and you get these brandos, you get these gigantic opportunities, maintain your delicacy and fall back on who you are because you, you're not Sean. You can't come in like Sean. You go on screwed up. You come in like Sean. Sean needs to be Sean. But I mean, I think they get it. But she's going to skyrocket very, very, very quickly. And so, you know, it's important that she understands and internalize who she is. But nobody else needs to see that she thinks she's Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? You know, she just got to call me, you know, as you grow, just don't drink it up. The world's going to see that she's bigger than Beyonce. She's going to be bigger than Beyonce. You heard what I said. All right. Well, you know, I think Beyonce was just kind of like a, a overall general term that we're just using in the reference of like Destiny's Child, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we all want to. Yeah. Okay. She's going to blow. They're both going to blow. All I'm saying is keep it cute, you know? Appreciate you. No, I Thank appreciate you. this. You got a business? I do have a business, you guys. Um, no, 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 husband no, no, and I. No, 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 no. I didn't say if you got a business. I said, Hold on, we getting whales. What? I, whales. I said, I said you got a business. I got a business. Yeah, <laughs> you got a business. I got a business. It's called King Care. Business. My skincare line. Business. I got a business. I got a business. business. I got a couple businesses. Yeah, I'm a singer. I'm an actress. I got a skincare line. It's called Kink Care. I do all the things. All right. Yeah. What's the number one problem you solve for people in the skincare line? Ooh, I struggled with eczema for a long, long time. And my product was the only thing that saved me. Oh, you do too? They both do. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. What? Oh, I got you. 
I got you. So you help people solve you help people solve eczema? Listen, first yeah. person that goes and buys a product from her website and sends me the screenshot, I'm text me your cash app and I'm literally going to pay for it, right? I'm gonna pick the person, right? So first person, where can they find your website? Uh, what products do you recommend for eczema? First person that goes through <laughs> that goes through and buys a product and screenshot it to me. I'm literally you gotta purchase it. Don't try to play me with like, oh, it's in the cart. Nope. Purchase it. I want to see a receipt. And I'm gonna pick somebody and I'm gonna pay yeah. for it. All right. So with that being said, where can they find your website? Okay, so it's K Y N C A R E dot com. We got a buy to get to going on tonight. It's gonna end. We're probably gonna extend it for a day for you guys, but um I would it's K Y N C A R E dot com. We make the most Say it one more time. There it is. It's K Y N C A R E. We make the most delicious smelling skincare, and I'm not just saying it because I make it, but it is absolutely incredible. We're doing a buy to get to free tonight, you guys. So love it. Listen, I would first recommend person to me a screenshot that they bought it. I'm literally going to cash app you. Okay. So with that being said, somebody asked, can your products be used on the infant? Um, we have an unscented that you can, but I would not put scented products on a baby y'all don't do it it's so just simple. Simple. unscented yes scented no unscented yeah, yes yeah. Unsent, I mean, unscented yes scented no all right so with that being said listen you probably are one of the most intellectual um <laughs> beings that i've that i've talked to on here and that's that's a lot saying a lot because we've had a lot of people um to come up here so very impressed by by your intelligence and the self-development i'm curious though i often see that wisdom wisdom is pain overcome so I, i'm what what's the most what's the biggest piece of adversity you've overcome in your life? Oh, um, well, okay. Uh, I'm a debarge, and um, I grew up with a very 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 famous father, uh, but I didn't grow up with him. I didn't meet him until I was 16, so I grew up in his name, but I didn't meet him until I was a debarge. A debarge. Uh, my father's El Debarge, so he's a singer, and I grew up knowing it, but I didn't grow up knowing him mm -hmm. and so that was really really hard for me and i met him at a concert because i bombarded the whole thing and i that's how we that's how we did it and that was listen man I, I very very impressed keep doing things around the world keep helping people you um i, I wish your husband joined on i would have asked him what he thought of polygamy <laughs> don't get it oh god yeah maybe next time <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, we believe in Jesus Christ, so we, we just don't, we, yeah. Oh, you know. man, my boy Jesus. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm we joking. don't. <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, y'all got to get your soul right. He, he's coming back. Get your soul yeah, right. Yo, so, but polygamy's in the Bible. Sean, do you want to do this? No, I'm just saying, isn't it in the Bible? It doesn't matter what's in. There's lots of, of things in the Bible. I mean, the Bible is there to give us examples of what to and what to not do. But let's just let's just have your personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Believe he dies on the cross for our sins and and listen to what he tells you. Listen for his voice. You know, I'm not going to condemn yeah. anybody because it's not my is, place. Is your husband around? He is not, y'all. He is at the gym. Man. You should have him. You should come back, and ha and I want to talk to him and ask him what he thinks of polygamy. All right, we'll do it. We'll we'll come back tomorrow. Let's do it. All right, we appreciate you all being on here. You guys go blow her business up. Uh, make sure you guys send me a screenshot, man. I want to see these screenshots. All right. All right, we'll catch y'all tomorrow. Are you guys? Y'all can click me off, or do I do it? Yes, I got it. All right, Thank bye, you, guys. girl. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Lols. She is so sweet and cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. All right, congratulations to LV. Her name is LV on Instagram, Lunaverse. All right, congratulations, Lunaverse. You are the winner. All right, winner. so make sure you DM me your cash up um, and we can take, it, take care of that right now. Love that for you. And guys, like guys, 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 if if 
if there's ever a little contest or something, make sure you guys hit me up, man. Like if you won, there's so many times where we hit up the winner and it's hard to get a hold of them or like we gotta like be, do a better job at like executing, 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 executing. Also, by the way, moving forward, if we're doing like a birthday giveaway or a single mom giveaway, if you're unwilling to just shoot like a little 30 second video saying, hey, I won and thank you, please don't enter the contest, I get it. You know, it can be a lot being on kind of like social media, but there's a lot of people who think that like the giveaways is like complete bullshit. It's mm -hmm. not, it's real shit. It's not bullshit, it's real shit. So, uh, you know, I feel like if we're gonna, you know, bless people, the least thing, the least that we can get is a thank you. Um, and I get it, not everybody's gonna be willing to do that, but for those people that are willing to do that, or for those people that want to enter the contest, just make sure you're willing to be like, film a 30 second thank you video. That's all. So thank you. with that being said, we appreciate you guys literally so much. Come here, uh, Olivia. Yes, let's get to two milli, guys. Two milli. Mm. Don't tap, don't tap. Mm. I'm gonna look for somebody while we get to two milli. Thank y'all for the 1.6 milli so far. We appreciate you. We're at 1.7. Thank y'all so much. One point eight. We need two hundred thousand more, about, and we will bring on the next guest. Dang, we got some businesses in here. Business owners. Huh. We got one point, guys. We need a hundred thousand more. We're at one point nine. We need a hundred thousand more. I'm in. That's what I mean. All right, Luna. There you go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. Uh. Thank y'all for the two million. We really appreciate you. Yes, yes, yes. Let's bring Chloe Mars. Chloe Mars. Chloe Mars. <laughs> Chloe! 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 Hello? Hello? Chloe? Chloe? Chloe, you got the boot. Chloe gotta go. Chloe! You think you wanted the Kardashians or something, huh? Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> I, love, I love Chloe Kardashian. She's gotta be one of my faves. Okay, Hera Patra, you're coming on. Oh, I like that. She jumped off. Oh, oh wait, who's she? Hello? Hey! Hi! Can you turn your camera on? Yeah, hold on. Oh, what's that? Oh, let me go. The light is too bright. Ooh. You about to go on a date night? Gorgeous. You, <laughs> he's, he's a shooting content or about to oh go on a date? Goodness. I'm crying because it's shooting content for a date night. I already knew. You did. You did. You, did. you, did. you, did. you a dating coach? No. Oh, you said you do the content on, about dating, right? Going on a date. You know, get ready with me. Oh. You know, the girlies love to get ready with me. Yeah. Where are you located? In Toronto. What time is it there? 
It's 12.38, so I'm done. I'm done for the day. What kind of thing are you going on tonight? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you already know. Certified speed clapper, huh? No, 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 no. I'm a child of God, guys. I already, know. Know. I already, went, I already went to the dinner, just came back, you know, wanted to film some TikToks and you decided to come on this live. You just came back from a date and your hair looks that good. Yes. I think, he gotta, I think he has to redo that date. That's not oh. how you supposed to come back looking. Sean, Sean, please, please, please. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be the last one for the night, so you know I want to keep it cute. I don't want to keep. I don't want to. I don't want to say too. I don't want to be disrespectful. I just want to learn and just ask a couple questions. Wow. Ask your questions, lovely. Do I have you guys' attention? Yeah, period. She already knows the rules. Yeah. Period. Period. I I want you guys' attention. So I don't know if you guys remember me. I have it. You guys probably don't remember me. I've been on here before. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I came on. Why you sound like? Why you sound like you about to like do the most evil thing ever? <laughs> I have you right where I want you. <laughs> you don't remember me? Revenge. Because <laughs> the, the first time I came on here, I had absolutely no idea what it was, what what I got myself into. So I came on here asking a lot of questions just to try to feel it out, you know? And since then, I have definitely be preying the things them. That means I've definitely been watching and seeing the clips. I know Sean says, don't believe everything on the clips because you know, they cut up the clips and not everything you see is what it is. So I popped into a couple lives just so to make sure, just to make sure that I don't get nothing, you know, wrong. I don't want to disrespect nobody because at the end of the day, everyone here, we're all grown, guys. We're all grown. So if mans want to be in a poly relationship, that is a okay. But you know, when you what you have here is young professional woman, would you be in a poly relationship? I would not. Yeah. I would not. That's just me. Also, I wanted to more so talk about the future of the relationship, oh, right? Yeah. Pardon me? Huh? What did you I say? I don't believe you. You don't believe that I would not be in a poly relationship? Hell no. I would never be in a poly relationship. <laughs> okay. Like, why do you think that I would be in a poly relationship, Sean? You, you have any experience with a girl? Do I have any experiences with a female? See how, see how uh, 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 what? No, I'm, just, I'm just trying to clarify. I'm just trying no, to clarify. No, no, no. Yeah, clarify. You got any experience with a girl? Yes or no? I've had my experience with females. Well, there you go. That's why I think you would be in a poly relationship. Go no, ahead. That's not true. Because go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I love, I love, I love that you asked that question. You know why? Because obviously Shanice, Shanice likes women, but you didn't want to get another woman that also liked women, mm -hmm. correct? If, like you say, if I was to be in a poly relationship, you would assume that I'd obviously want, I'd want the girl. But being in a poly relationship and not being able to do stuff with the other female doesn't really quite make sense to me. So I'm trying to figure out, cause you say you want to have seven girls, right? I want to, I will. You will. Period. Sh shit. Let's talk about the future of the poly relationship. You want seven girls. I rate that. Fine. Cool. Do you, because you guys have this whole thing going on, and I know let's, that Shanice, you. Let's give them the proper respect. Let, let me make it clear. I'm going to have seven queens, and they're going to be extremely beautiful and extremely powerful. Period. All right. Okay. Are these seven queens allowed to have their own thing going on? What do you mean? <clears throat> Like, what? for example, Shanice is joined the Sephora squad. Shanice, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Shanice, the slow blinks, the slow blinks. Sorry. I know you joined the Sephora squad, correct? Is that something that you still want to pursue? The, or are you withdrawing the application? No, I, I did put in an application. Um, considering that 
like the makeup industry is a billion dollar industry i think that that would be a good a very good opportunity not only for myself and making an impact on other like other people but also like networking we we always prioritize women that come into our dynamic to be more of assets and i feel as though that having more of a network every single person having more of a network would be the best for everyone i agree i absolutely agree but i did see a clip so i want you guys to clarify because you guys already told me like you already know people that be cutting up the clips so I'm going, I'm, I'm about to get to you, Sean. I'm about to get to you, Sean. Do I have your attention? Just barely. No, I'm kidding. What's up? I'm about to say, don't do that. Okay, but... <laughs> sorry, the smile, it's it's amazing. Anyways, oh, um... I, this... I didn't have that effect on people. I, I apologize. No, I kept it down yesterday. I was looking so fucking good. I probably uh. made three women fall in love and probably ended like two damn relationships. Ooh. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to apologize. So I toned it down a little bit for y'all today. But go ahead. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> so when um, I seen a clip saying that if she was to join, if she was to get accepted to the Sephora squad, it it would kind of be curtains for Shanice and you. Is that does that still stand? No, like no. I'm a I'm a <laughs> bro, I'm gonna break up with my girl because she joined the Sephora squad. No. no, like the opportunities that it breeds, right? She might be able, she might be flying out, you know? She might do these things without you. And I know, and I heard that you said that you didn't want, it's not that you didn't want to, so I'm not going to put words in your mouth. Yeah. I'm not going to put words in your mouth. But what I got from it was that you didn't want her to kind of accept the Sephora squad if they were to um, choose her because she would be doing kind of her own thing and you guys have like this collective thing going on that you obviously want to grow into this big empire, right? So yeah, I feel like- That's like not in my vocabulary. It's not what we want, it's what we're gonna do. So like, I mean, physical beauty is definitely something that can be worked into it. You know, if Sephora, Sephora, I think that'd be a great segue, you know, to building a relationship with Sephora and, you know, Rihanna, when she got dropped her line, you know, I think she did it with like Sephora, partnership with she Sephora, did. right? And it, it's worth most of her net worth, billions of dollars. So, I mean, I think it could be, I think it could be great, you know, like I'm not going to break up with my girl because she wants to do black makeup. That's crazy. Okay, cool. I, I actually like, if, appreciate if that. Just, like, if she was just like, okay, well, fuck you. I don't want to ever be home. I'm going to travel, you know, 300 days of the year. And then obviously I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't know if we're like necessarily super like aligned. I think any relationship is pretty much give and take. Like, you know, I'm about, I'm about how can we all win? If that makes sense. Absolutely. So having seven girls or seven queens, sorry, seven queens. You want to have seven queens? Now Wouldn't it be? Stop telling me what I want to do. I will do it. I know you don't mean disrespect, but when you say want, when you say try, when you say stuff like that, well, we don't have it right now. Words. So therefore, it's still a want, right? You, I know you will have it, but it's still also a want. No. You no 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 no. You're gonna find out what I already know. That's the thing. Like I know, I know we sound so delusional telling you, dude. I'm gonna own the Padres, dude. I'm gonna own sports teams. But like that's the truth. We are gonna do those things. So I just want to like, you know, I'm, I, I know you don't mean any disrespect by it, but I really want to like correct it because there's a lot of there's a lot of power in the tongue, like a lot of power in the tongue. You know, the tongue, the tongue, your tongue, what? It's gonna get. Period. <laughs> It's gonna get seven women, right? Okay. I feel like for the future of this empire, I feel like you guys are gonna get more clout, more opportunities, and I feel like it might actually force you guys to do stuff separately, right? I'm sure, Sean, there's gonna be times when people are gonna ask you, specifically just you, to do certain things, right? Those same opportunities can also happen for Olivia, also happen for Shanice. Shanice obviously is growing at a rapid rate, rapid rate on social media. And like I said, if she was to get the opportunity of Sephora, she's going, she's going to be going places and stuff. You said that you'd be okay with it. You're not breaking up with her. That was just, I guess that was just a bad, someone caught you on a bad time, bad day. That's why you said that. Like, why did you say that before? And what has changed since then? We, I'm too far away from that. What does her traveling look like? What does that actually like look like with the Sephora squad doing like events? 
you know, what does that actually like look like? And how can we align, you know, with like what we, what she has going on with what we have going on? That's what it's all about, right? But no, I answer the question succinctly, I would not just break up with my girl just because she joined the Sephora squad. Yeah. Would it, would it upset you if she, like, obviously I feel like Shanice, you're not gonna, you, obviously you, everything that you're doing has Sean in mind and probably the rest of everybody else, right? But I'm sure, cause I go on your lives as well sometimes, I see like, you know, like you like doing your own thing as well as a woman, of course you wanna do your own thing. Um, I don't think that you're going to dismiss Sean or dismiss the other ladies like Olivia, nobody else, but you also want to be able to do what you gotta do, like finding yourself and finding what you like. So when it starts, because you are growing at a very rapid rate, you're going to be getting like certain opportunities, right? Like that comes with having followers and all that, all that good stuff. How are you going to make it work between you guys? Are you, are you going to say no to like opportunities that happen for you? Like opportunities that are brought to you that don't involve them? Are you going to dismiss that? No, no, no. I don't feel as though, like, in regards to opportunities, um, if, I feel as though if they align with me, they also need to align with, like, my life. And he is a part of my life. Now, in regards, just like you said, if I was gone 300 days out of the year, then that's, uh, that's, in, I just, I just came back from deployment, so that's not something that I want to do. Um, but I, I understand that, like, you have to dedicate some time and um, in regards to being or being on the Sephora squad, just having an impact. I don't, I don't feel as though it would be a job to me. Doing makeup to me is like, it, it just, <clears throat> excuse me, it helps me express my femininity. Like, I love how empowered I feel. I love skincare. I love fragrances. I love, and I want other people to like be informed. I love supporting black owned businesses. Um, yeah, I just, I want to be able to make more of an impact with content because I, I don't want to make content just to do it. I want to be able to actually have an, an impact, have a purpose with that. And I feel like you're doing an amazing job already and like you're just showing people just, you know, how to be unbothered not to react. It's like it gives me everything and I appreciate that about you. Can I ask this question between all three of you guys? Hi, Olivia. Hi. Hello. I didn't forget you, girl. You know, I didn't forget you. Um, I wanted to ask all three of you guys love language. Like what is all of your like love languages because i do see sean like kissing up on olivia and for me the reason why i couldn't be in a poly relationship i'm a libra so like for me everything equal equal like you know if you give her a kiss you gotta give me a kiss like you know that that's just me though that's just me no i ain't saying about you but that's just me so if i'm seeing her get like five kisses you gotta match that energy with me so i want to know each of you guys um love languages and are you guys is everyone meeting each other's love language well, i'm a libra rising so i feel you on that <laughs> but anyways i don't i don't have that same thing my first one is physical touch my sep second one is quality time or maybe it's the other way around yeah, give me your give me your top two. Yes, give me your top two. So I think, I think it's like okay. So I think it's quality time then physical touch, um, okay. or the other way around, and then yeah, that's it. Well, then I know for sure Sean is giving you everything that you you want and you need because he's very physical. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, so, Sean, do you like smile like that on purpose? Yeah. Like that little like curl like that. No, I just got some big ass lips. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got, I got a, I no, got a, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got like, I got a big nose. It's got like a slight curl in it too, and uh, I got a curl somewhere else too, and that one's big too. So, just curls everywhere. I don't know why, but you know. So who are you telling this to? <laughs> Come on, sir. Come on, sir. You got two beautiful queens over there, sir. Exactly. Uh, anyways, um. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
Just... No, you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Period. So, Don, what is your two love languages? Your first top two? All, I appreciate you coming to me, but we're gonna go to the queen, uh, Shanice. Ladies first. Manners, come on now. Are you... Wait, are you saying that just because you want to hear hers? No, I'm saying that because ladies go first, so... Okay, fine. Shoot. You the boss. You the boss here. So sh come on, Shanice. Let me know the two the two love languages. Um, to be honest, I would say all of them. But what I would need the least, I can say the least. Um, our gifts. I'm not much of a materialistic person. Um, and did you repeat that? Thing? Oh, all of them. Uh, in regards to my love languages. I, I want them all, and I feel as though I give them all. Um, but what I, I don't say what I appreciate the least, but what I don't feel as though I need as much would be gifts. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm not much of a materialistic person, and I like for there to be like some thought behind your actions, if that makes sense. No, I definitely understand that. So that means that for love, your love languages, all of them really matter to you, including physical touch and quality time and whatnot. Okay, so in the beginning of the trio. Damn, so just fuck me, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, I really forgot that. Saying, I really everybody forgot everybody you did knows, Everybody knows by this point I'm a full blown narcissist. I think that's what they call me, right? Oh, so all, I need all that. Can you believe that? As a matter of fact, Go make a six love language and show me that too. And I better understand it because you know I barely understand English. So with that being said, I'm so damn narcissist. I need all of them and I need them to make a six one just for me. Because I think I'm all joking, that. You are joking, but it sounds kind of it sounds kind of truthful. It, it sounds very much like the truth. So you need all of them. I need all that. You need all of them because like you're a narcissist. Like say, I need all that love on me. All right. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. You in a good mood today? Why are you in a good every mood today? Every day. You understand? You're not in a good mood every day. Why are you in no, a good I'm mood in a today? Good mood every day, just people be coming up here saying some dumbass shit. <laughs> you know, so that's the thing. Yo, you in a good mood? You smiling I'm and everything? Your lips is curling. Mood. Like this is a lot of smiles. No, like no, 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 I'm in a great mood. See, you just, you know, you just up here, so you're seeing it up, up close, and it's just like, whoa, it's just hitting you a little different. But let's get to your next question. Come on. Okay, my next question is: In the beginning of the relationship, knowing your your love languages now, and knowing that physical touch and everything that matters to you guys all, all. Shanice, question for you because I know that it was you and Sean first. When someone did come in, because this is obviously I don't know if this is um Sean's first poly relationship. Is this your is this everyone's first poly relationship? Yes. How did you navigate watching him giving that physical touch to someone else? Like in the beginning, like for me, I feel like that in itself is like a mental thing that you're gonna have to get over. And during it, this is a, the same, like an, another question for this question. And during the time of you getting used to it, do you not get like sometimes like, do you like, oh, like he's been kissing up on her a lot. Like, you know, I kind of like, do you, do you notice stuff like that? Does it bother you? Like, I'm really curious to know about that. That's a really good question. And the answer is no. Um, so I'm not the, the jealous type because regardless of how what he's doing with Olivia, like I'm focused on how he is treating me. Mm -hmm. His relationship is with me. My relationship is with him. Regardless of what him and Olivia have going on, like like I'm I'm with him and him only. Um and if like if there at any point in time that I don't feel as though like I am getting enough or whatever, then I'll speak up. But regardless, like, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty unbothered. I love that. Do you feel like the dynamic might change with more women added? Like, how do you feel like you're gonna get that that same kind of attention when more people are added? 
and also Sean, how do you how do you think you're going to be able to navigate giving all these women all your affections and feeling the same or not feeling threatened by the other? Are you, are you talking to me or Shanice? Both of you guys, but Shanice go first because ladies yeah, first. Go ahead. Um, so for me, I I focus more on what I can give. Like I'm I'm a really big giver. Um, and I I know that regardless, like I'm I'm going to get get love and he works in like sacrifices a lot of his time and energy just to take care of us. Um so I I understand that, I see that, and it just makes me want to give and provide for him even more. Um, I'm like, I'm more of a nurturer. So okay. like regardless of how many women there are or whatever, like I, I just, I want to give for, like I want to nurture him more because of how much he provides for me. Okay, I, I like that, I like that. Sean, your turn. How do you feel like you're going to be able as a man to give that same energy that you have given Olivia and Shanice to even have them so like in love with you? How are you going to be able to give that to every single person equally? Sean, you checked out? No, what'd you say? Oh, no. you. So you checked out. You ain't even listening to me. Say it again. I'm gonna say it again. Can I can I get your your focus, your eyes, so I know you're listening? You got my, you got my undivided. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna just trust that. I'm gonna just trust that. How are you gonna be able to provide the same love and affection that you're giving Olivia and Shanice? Because I obviously could tell that you're giving them everything that they need, like everything that they need and want. You're giving it to them, right? How are you gonna be able to give that to seven different individual women? Especially the type of woman that you are looking for. You say that you want a strong woman that wants to, yeah. is going to be an asset. I'm going to go to my doctor and be like, hey, man, I need the biggest prescription of Viagra you can give me. Okay, sexual aside, like the sex aside. Because as a guy, I'm, I'm definitely going to assume you're going to be able to handle that, you know? Um, I'm going to assume that. Yeah, but emotionally. On the, on the real, though, um, I think togetherness is like what I'm like really like after and I want I'll have a system I'll have a I'll have a plan for that but it's all about you know communicating hey tell me your needs tell me your wants and we just make it happen we make it work but like the the connections that I want um I want I want relationships where like we're like it's just a spiritually divine connection like we're just so in tune with each other that you just didn't even know like relationships could go like that deep but i want that with each one of like um my queens and i think that man, I, i'm sorry i'm just getting distracted even just thinking about it because those those connections are just so rare what's your so, mind right now what, what so, are you painting so, no i'm just thinking about it i'm just thinking about how blissful it is and how thankful i am and how just i'm very lucky you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very lucky. And um, most people go their whole life without having a relationship that's like spiritually, that they feel is like spiritually divine. Like, um, and and I'm just thinking about how blissful it's going to be to just be surrounded by seven incredibly beautiful women. And their beauty is, is it, their outer beauty just pales in comparison to the beauty of like their spirit. Um, and we just positively impact people all over the world. It's going to be, it's going to be an amazing and beautiful thing. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll just talk to them, communicate their needs, and uh, we'll we'll definitely figure that out. It'll be like a system, you know. So, are you trying to build it? Like to me, it sounds like like the empire you're trying to build is for this great. Part of me, sorry, I didn't hear that. The client word, the one that I will build. Oh, I am sorry. <laughs> when you get I, what I'm hearing, what I'm getting from this is that you are trying, you are building an empire yes yeah. Shanice with the with the nod she said yes you got it right you're you are building an empire correct and you want I feel like business wise I feel like you're really thinking about business wise is how this is gonna be how this is gonna look 
and what this is going to provide for you. But I still don't think that you're really answering the question. Like every woman has their love languages. Like Olivia said, hers is physical touch. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, quality time. How are you going to be able to give all seven girls the physical touch and the quality time? <laughs> That's gonna make them satisfied. I'm a, I'm a certified ass crabber. So <laughs> the physical touch, I'm not worried about. I'm like certified, I'm a certified ass crabber. So with that being said, I'm just gonna communicate with them, ask them what they need and want and give them what they need and want. That's it, it's very simple. Guys, there's guys that juggle a lot more than seven girls on their roster. Period. You know, that's there's true. Right now, there's guys right now with 20 girls. But they're not doing it good. And they're also not giving the time. They're not giving equal time to everyone. You know that that's, they're not giving the equal time. Like somebody gets the 3 a.m. Some people get the whole day. Some people just get the weekend. Some people get two, two days out of the week. You want seven consistent women around you, correct? Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah. how are you going to be able to provide that? Also, are you are you practicing safe sex or is this just? Do I, are you asking me? Do I use condoms? Yes. Hell no! You lost your mind? Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. Like I'm not listening to me. If some if you have to use a condom with somebody, that's a sign that you should not be having sex with them. Do you know bacterial vaginosis? We have never had an incident. It's been almost a going on a year. We have never had one. But you're adding seven different women. Hold on. They are vegan. They have the healthiest cootie cats on the planet. I'm not here to talk about their cootie cats, but we've never had a single incident. Never, not once. That doesn't mean that it can't happen. It hasn't happened. But it can, because with a woman's cootie cat, you know, different pe especially not using a condom. I just feel like just dif dipping into different cootie cats is just gonna mess up people's pH balance. Pretty sure condoms can cause BB. Um, so can um a pee pee that goes into everybody. That can also cause BB. The only way that's gonna the only way that's gonna happen is if I'm like being irresponsible. I mean, I'm pretty sure instances may come, but like that, we haven't yeah, had that. Yet. You know, I was just about to say that because yeah. you know, I, when you when you're in heat, you know, sometimes you just go. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. I think, um, I think you know, people shower frequently. There's just strategies. There's different things that you can like do. You know, to to prevent that. Yeah, and a lot of guys get BV. Go ahead. A lot of guys, you know, be passing the BV because they probably don't wash themselves or they just are not used to having, like, you know, sex with more than one woman. So they just, you know, when they get that privilege, they just kind of like abuse it. They don't know how to do it responsibly. So you're not worried about, I'm sure because it hasn't happened between the three of you, that you're obviously not worried right now, but having like seven other women, you're not worried about like the chances of that increasing, because obviously that it will increase. I need a little bit. Like for me as a woman, I'm not gonna trust that the seven different women in front of me are gonna be as clean as me. Mm, I don't mess with women that are clean. I hear you. Listen, man, like, these, these aren't these aren't dust buckets that just got through smoking weed and, and with, with 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 Tyrone. Right, I shouldn't even be saying that. I'm sorry. Doing illegal substances with Tyrone down the street, right? That's not like, and if that's what you guys want to do, that's what you guys want to do. But I don't talk to dust buckets. I talk to girls that operate on a certain frequency that respect themselves. All right, so like, like it, it's just totally different. Okay, and these all these seven women, you don't want them to also be attracted to other women as well. I mean, it, like, it, it's not really that big of a deal to me, you know? I don't talk to girls on the hot Cheetos and Casamigos diet, right? I like girls that eat fruit, um, you know, and, and actually take care of themselves. Girls be putting fruit and all the coconut oil and stuff in their hair, and then they put hot Cheetos and hot pockets and McDonald's in their body. <laughs> make it make sense. 
But um, with that with that being said, with that being said, it's a certain type of woman that I'm like, you know, talking to and and, and we'll date. Okay, so when you start picking, when, first of all, when do you start picking the next member of your crew? Like, I'm in the dating process right now. I've had a couple dates. Uh, I've got one coming up this upcoming, not this upcoming weekend, but next weekend. I'm very excited about. Shout out to you know who. If you're watching this right now, I'll see you soon. Lord have mercy. You know who. You know who, man. He look at you. He's grinning for you. You know who. Who it is? But it's very special. Somebody is. Uh, it's gonna be exciting. So with that being said, with that being said, um, yeah, I'm definitely in that process right now. Got a lot of offers, and you know, definitely gonna go harder. I need to do a better job putting more time and energy towards that. I haven't really like. <laughs> I haven't really put a lot of energy towards it, but I, I should get like a move on that because I definitely want to add, you know, a, a third. And you're you're gonna be the person choosing. They don't have a say. Like I feel like Shanice at this point should, since you know she's been here from the beginning, should have a say. I would never be without getting advice from like. No, but I feel like she should pick a girl. If you're gonna have seven of them, I feel like. Girl, hell no. Her Why not? Advice on it? Absolutely. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be with a girl just because I teach. <laughs> just because my girl said we need to be with her. That's wow. Well, why can't she pick one? Bro, her input yeah. is so incredibly valued. But why would I just be with a girl because Shani said, "Sean, you should be with her." Now, if Shanice comes and like suggests a girl. Then I'm like gonna take a harder look at that girl. Of course, Shanice could be like, you know, I've been talking to her. She seems intelligent. She's really beautiful. This is what I think you guys should hate. But I'm never gonna just be like, oh, Shanice said this is my next queen. So like, you know, fuck what I think of her. Just <laughs> this is my next queen. No, no it's not, not, not in that, not like that per se. Well, but if, if Shanice finds a girl that she's interested, that she feels like will be a good person, a good person to help the dynamic. And also someone that she can also have fun with, right? Like, is that not a is that not happening? Is not a chance that's happening? It, like, you know, some cool points for that, but that's not gonna be like the deciding factor. I just feel like if I was the first first one, I should have at least one choice out of seven. So see, now we get deeper into the discussion. Got your ass. I knew you would practice poly. No, I'm gotcha. just saying if you I was But now you're putting yourself in this initial hmm, if I was the first, this is what yeah. I would see. This Lacey, is how, this okay, is how no. it starts, man. This is how but, it starts. No, but the thing is, Sean, I would not be able to be in this because like you are saying, like that's not happening. Like she's not gonna have like, you know, ultimately it's you, right? But for me I think personally, this is what I think. I think you're a great person. I think that you have you love very hard. I think that you put your trust in somebody and I think they let you down deeply. And I feel like right now um, you're afraid to be extremely vulnerable with somebody. And I feel like you're afraid to severely trust, trust, trust a man at the deepest level and completely submit to him. Because when you when you're not in control, you feel it, it, it makes you scared because you've been there, done it once and it could be failed. I could be wrong. I could be wrong because I'm not a therapist. But or, that's or I've dealt with someone that really let me do my thing when it comes to making decisions and trusting me completely, right? It could be the latter. Like, it could be what you're saying because I got a man, right? I got, I got someone. I got what, someone, right? What guy, so it, what guy's going to let a woman lead the relationship? Listen, men... It's not about leading the relationship. It's about it's trusting that the woman that, that you chose for that relationship, you trust her, right? Like, you're not just choosing any girl. Like, the reason why Shanice is there, you, you could have chose anyone, correct? You could have chose any girl. But you chose Shanice. You chose Olivia. These are these are not just regular women that you chose to be in your life. So therefore, I'm assuming that you respect their thoughts, their mind, and their opinion, and just Never, I would expect they wouldn't they wouldn't be sitting on the throne if I didn't respect their mindset. Exactly, exactly. So well, you know, two things can be right here. Their mindset and letting them be the decision maker in my relationship is two totally different things in your relationship but isn't it a relationship between all of you guys or yeah. is it just your relationship it's our relationship but like ultimately right. this is like my mission this is like what i'm doing and like you know so yes, they're, they're, they're there for the mission 
Yeah. I don't know what they're there for. I, I don't mind being used. I, I just don't want to be, you know, I want Shanice to use me. I want Olivia to use me. I don't mind being used because if a man can't be used, then he's useless. Who the hell wants to date a useless yeah, man? A I just, I just hold on. Like, I don't want to be misused and abused. That's my thing. I don't like to be misused or but, um, abused. So that's, that's, that's my thing. But I don't think that Shanice or Olivia would do that. They would not misuse. I don't think that they would misuse you. Would you guys misuse him? Ladies? No. Absolutely not. Shanice, do you feel like moving forward, would you ever want any say in the girls that he picks? Like, would you want more of like, oh, he's saying he's not gonna give 100%, fine. But at least like 50-50, like 60-40 on choosing a woman to join the group. Oh, okay. I was wondering what you were talking about for the Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, in regards, so for that, like, I trust his judgment um, in, like, for choosing a woman to be a part of our dynamic. So, and it's not, like, a requirement for you to like women. Like, I, my relationship is with him. So regardless, like, I'm not worried about being with other women. That's not my priority at all. Mm -hmm. That's not your priority at all. Like your priority right now is just for Sean and nobody else. And Sean's priorities is you guys and His five other women. Okay. Okay, how about you, Olivia? Well, Olivia, I feel like you're just gonna be happy with whatever no, like sometimes, like if I think a girl is a good fit, like even though I'm not like gay yeah. or bisexual, whatever that it is, um, I'm still gonna like think like, hey, I think she would be an asset. Like she has good personality, like boom, boom, boom. She's beautiful. And just because I am not bisexual, yeah. I know that we're gonna build something great and that is going and we're gonna like obviously have other women so you know i i do do that for the greater good of us as a family okay olivia um a question for you like moving like future wise like just the future when obviously you're also growing at a rapid rate as well when you start getting your opportunities you know you're young you're 20 you know i was 20 once you know 21 so it was nice um i was 21 so like that's like you have just a plethora of things that you still gotta accomplish still gotta do when those opportunities come to your front door are you gonna be able to like leave sean at home what? are you gonna be able to, what? <laughs> to leave sean at home like if it doesn't involve sean will you still be able to will you still want to do these opportunities like if some if not someone like if a brand wants to fly you out for a week well, are again, you able to do that and miss the lives i want to take into the consideration is it going to be beneficial for us as a family before anything else um and actually truly beneficial because i have like other things going on like a brand finding me out is not going to be like Woo! It's not gonna be like, <laughs> woo! Can't wait to go on a trip with a brand. Like, that's not, for me, like, I don't think that's that exciting only because I know that going on a trip with a brand is gonna be less impactful than like helping in, in within my business or our business. So, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. So what is, to you, like, explain your business and like what your future is, like, what do you see for yourself and the family? So I, so I run my own financial services and insurance agency, and basically um, I help people basically with their money. I help millennial women now in particular um, increase their wealth by at least 20% and beyond and just get to that next level up in their wealth journey. Because a lot of people make money, um, a lot of millennial women are making money, have access to over, don't know what to do with it. So in terms of that, I'm just really um nailing down on the money management how can i put people in the best position to win um make the most money that they ever have and pass that on to generations too mm -hmm. what sean what are you laughing at oh, the comments y'all are, are so funny 
Y'all are like, what? What was the comment that made you? <laughs> I, somebody, I need to know. Somebody, somebody commented under one of my pictures a frog emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I was so funny. I love TikTok comments. Oh my god, there it is. They're so funny. All right. So, listen, you got to, I appreciate you being on. You got a business? I have a business coming out in a couple months, guys. What is it? Oh, what can the people support you? A makeup brand. It is Hero Patra Beauty. <laughs> I'm going to be coming out with the best lip glosses, pigmented. If you're a makeup lover, if you're a makeup lover, I get it. The lip gloss, the sheer lip gloss, it's for the girls, the clean girls, but the girls that are into the makeup that don't want to be applying like five shades of lip gloss to get that. Yeah. Okay, question. I'm yes. looking for a very long lasting lip yeah. product. Is that what is, you're gonna deliver? Absolutely. Yes. And it's gonna smell amazing. Like I said, it should be only one swipe and you're getting everything that you need to get from a lip gloss. Because, you know, I'm tired of just applying four lip gloss shades and it coming off in the next 20, 30 minutes. So I've been working really long and hard to get this started. I'm so, I really want to drop in the beginning of summer. So everything's coming. How many colors are you going to drop? Like shades? Oh, I'm, the starting three. Starting three. The hero, the hero three. Those, those are the heroes. I love it. I love it. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank Appreciate you. you for being on here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your questions were amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow. You guys, you guys. Giveaway going down tomorrow. Make sure you are there. Very, 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 very excited. You guys, make sure you guys go and follow the beautiful um, Shanice. All right. I almost called her Diana Ross. <laughs> <laughs> go and follow her on Instagram. Trying to get her to 30k. Listen, go and follow her on Instagram. Okay, Woo! go follow Olivia on Instagram. Uh, for those of you guys watching, again, man, I say we want to help you guys. If you guys got a 700 plus credit score, and you're looking for a couple strategies to learn to make 10 to 15k a month. DM me on Instagram. Uh, free game, okay? Sean underscore T underscore. DM me free game. Teach you how to make 10 to 15 thousand dollars a month for free. For free, okay, I'll never ask you for your credit card. I'll never ask you for money online. Literally, DM me free game. It's free information, man. We want to help you guys take care of your family. If you guys are like, I don't know about this fucking guy, man. He kind of looks weird, bro. His lips are too big to be successful. Listen, man, just go check me out. Check out my page, man. Check out the highlights. One, lifestyle. Two, testimonials. You can see what I've been up to for the last couple years, man. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I don't claim to have it all figured out or to be perfect. I'm just a little bit further along in my journey than you guys. So, with that being said, I love listening to Rick Ross and he was saying, listen, success is about how many people you bless. Mm. And we're all about blessing people on the show, whether it's with information, whether it's helping people grow their business, whether it's relationships, whatever it may be. Um, with that being said, 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, Sean on the Instagram, free game, okay? I only got one account, I got about 170,000 followers. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's not blue check, it is not me, okay? Sean on the Instagram, DM me free game if you got a 700 plus credit score. Um, and for my guys, if you don't wanna just make my kings, kings only, you wanna become a strong leader, you look for somebody to like, kinda like really show you the way, like really show you the way, like man, like master success, 10 to 15K a month, I mean 10 to 15K a week, uh, if you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, mentor, uh, Sean underscore T underscore Adams, DM me mentor, and I'll personally reach out to you and see if mentorship's a great fit for you. Uh, and, and sometimes my DMs get a little crowded, but I promise you I will get to you. So with that being said, appreciate you guys literally so much tomorrow. Huge giveaway, baby. Wanna say something? Wanna say anything? Yes! For all my wealth building baddies, if you're looking to get on your next level up in your wealth journey, mm -hmm. and you want to go ahead and Make your income use, useful because right now you don't really know what it's doing. Um, go ahead and DM the word wealth to Sense Wealth and let's get on the next level up in your wealth journey so that you can have wealth for you, yourself, your family, generations, and beyond. Beyond! Beyond! Listen, man, we love you guys. We appreciate you guys so much. Peace. Peace.